279 episodes, 12 seasons, and billions of fans all around the world, we're talking about the Big Bang Theory, of course. I'm sure that you miss it as much as I do. Is it true that Johnny Galecki's real-life girlfriend got pregnant at exactly the same time his on-screen partner Penny did? And how did Kaylee Cuoco's husband troll her on her first wedding anniversary? And did Simon Helberg really break his fiancée's heart only to regret it when she found love in Paris? Hey, everybody. I'm Peter, and welcome back to Osa. We'll start with the most bashful member of the group, Kunal Nayar better known to you as Raj Kuthrapali, who it turns out is actually third on the Forbes list of the world's highest paid TV actors for 2015 and 2018. Even though he plays a shy geek in the series who goes mysteriously mute around beautiful women, Kunal must be the polar opposite of his character, because he certainly hit the jackpot in real life. Kunal's wife, the beautiful and gorgeous Neha Kapoor, is a superstar in her own right, winning the Miss India pageant in 2006, and then going on to represent India on the world World Beauty stage at the Miss Universe pageant that very same year. If only Raj could see you now, Kunal, he'd say that you're a lucky man indeed. And if he could see your wife, he'd probably say nothing at all. Kunal and Neha had a traditional Indian-style wedding in 2011, which lasted an epic six days, a week filled with ceremonies, celebrations, and lots of unforgettable fairy tale moments. Kunal confessed that Neha was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen, and I have to say that I can certainly see his point. Nia is renowned for her perfect taste and has made many appearances in fashion magazines as a globally acknowledged style icon. This June, Kunal posted a pic on his Instagram with a caption that told us that he was going to take a holiday and intended to take a break from social media for a while. From all the fans, we're very happy for you, Kunal. We hope that you have a relaxing vacation while we move on to the next geek of our hearts, Simon Helberg. Simon portrayed the engineer Howard Wolowitz. Along with Sheldon, Leonard, and Raj, Howard is one of the only characters who appeared in all 279 episodes of The Big Bang Theory. Hard work, Mr. Helberg. Well, that hard work has certainly paid off, as much like his co-star Kunal, Forbes placed Simon in co-third place in their rating of the world's highest paid TV stars for 2018, banking a staggering $23 million for that year alone. So, what about Helberg's personal life? Well, that's a much more rocky road than his TV success. After years of dating, Helberg finally proposed to his crush, Jocelyn Town. And joy of joys, she said yes! They were happily engaged for a while, but Simon was also kind of, uh, freaking out. It was then that he did something so wildly anxious and awkward, it'd be worthy of Wolowitz himself. As Simon confessed, he thought he could lead a more exciting life and explore if he had feelings for other people. So he just broke up with his fiance. Jocelyn packed up her understandably broken heart and moved to Paris right after the split to take some time out and try to heal in the world's most romantic city. After Town returned to the US, Simon tracked her down and desperately proposed to her yet again. If you guessed that she told him where to go, you'd be wrong. Now reunited, Simon jokingly told David Letterman on The Tonight Show that just Trapping Jocelyn, forcing her to marry him, was the most romantic thing anyone could ask for. As crazy and creepy and just plain Howard Wolowitz as that might sound, it worked. Simon and Jocelyn have been happily married for 12 years. Nowadays, you'll find the couple raising two children and making even more of their own movies, like I Am I in 2013. We're so glad that they didn't just find love, but they also found inspiration in each other and their love story too. And now we move on to the loneliest character on the show. Kevin Sussman, AKA Stuart Bloom, joined the cast of The Big Bang Theory in 2007 and was promoted to a series regular in season six. Stuart Bloom, a charming loser, has a lot of failed love affairs on the show. What about in real life? Kevin Sussman married the beautiful Alessandra Young in 2006, but after 11 years together, the couple filed for divorce. The year after the divorce, Sussman met the woman he would eventually fall in love with. Pictures of the funny, stylish, and open-minded dog-loving actress Whitney Rice flooded Kevin's Instagram. Sweet snaps on their profiles tell us they have so much in common and clearly always appear to have a good time together. And now we move on to Melissa Rauch. I take it we all remember Bernadette and her inimitable voice? In real life, Melissa lended her voice to a lot of iconic cartoon characters like Harley Quinn, Francine on Ice Age, uh, Kiki, 
in the Scooby-Doo sequel and The Wasp on Marvel's Ant-Man series. Her last big silver screen appearance was in Bob Castrone's comedy Flock of Dudes, and Melissa also played the main character on a show she helped pen called The Bronze. Ever since Melissa married Winston Bagel in 2007, their love life seemed calm and cloudless, except for one pretty painful detail. On July 2017, Melissa announced that she was pregnant, but she also bravely disclosed that she had previously had a miscarriage, so the world was on tenterhooks, pulling for her and her new pregnancy. Everyone was able to breathe a sigh of relief after an uneventful and perfectly normal birth. On December 4th, 2017, Melissa posted a picture on her Instagram proclaiming, it's a girl. It looks like Melissa and Winston's family is free from further tragedy, and we're sure that their baby girl will be proud of her super talented, superstar mother. Melissa and her husband collaborated together as more than just a married couple, producing projects like the acerbic and political stage show, The Miseducation of Jenna Bush. We wish them all the best as we move on to our next stop, Johnny Galecki. Johnny, otherwise known as Leonard Hofstetter, was originally asked to play the role of Sheldon Cooper, but it was Galecki's opinion that Leonard would suit him better. Well, it looks like his instincts were right on the money, and now the 44-year-old actor can count himself among those included on the 2018 Forbes list as the second highest paid TV actor in the world, earning $25 million that year. <laughs> wow, that's a doozy right out of the gate. Galecki has had a few big silver screen appearances, such as in Hancock alongside Will Smith, in time beside Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried, as well as a handful of TV show cameos. Johnny has since had a few appearances in other TV series, most recently in The Connors, the spin-off from the ill-fated recent revival of Roseanne. But who are the recurring characters in the actor's personal life? While working on The Big Bang Theory, Galecki actually ended up dating his co-star, Kaylee Cuoco, in real life. However, they ended their relationship in 2009. Both of them say they've kept in contact and that their close-knit partnership has helped them to save their friendship, regardless of the breakup. Since September 2018, Johnny has been dating supermodel Elena Meyer, which I'd find pretty exhausting as she's exactly half his age. I'm impressed he can keep up. Still, it seems like things are getting pretty serious as Johnny was also recently spotted stepping out in Beverly Hills with something round and golden on his finger. His ring finger, if you catch my drift. However, the actor has denied all wedding rumors. In May 2019, the pair announced that they were expecting, and a little while later, they also revealed that the baby will be a boy. And how's this for spooky? At the same time that Elena announced that she was expecting, the character of Penny announced that she was also pregnant with Leonard's baby. It happened at almost exactly the same time, so Johnny has become something of a rare crossover character, playing a father in both universes, ours and the one on the show where he made his fortune. And now we move on to Penny herself. Kaylee Cuoco gave us a great performance as the young, charming and outrageous girl next door Penny. And anybody who set eyes on her fell in love with her, myself included. You too, I'll bet. Come, come now, we're all friends here. Kaylee saw her first signs of success on the sitcom Eight Simple Rules. She earned a few big award nominations and eventually won a Teen Choice Award as a breakout star. After the Big Bang Theory, Kaylee won a People's Choice Award not once, but twice and a Satellite Award for the Best Actress. But there are some awards that Kaylee might be a bit less happy about. For her role on The Wedding Ringer, Kuoko won a Golden Raspberry as the worst supporting actress. Anyway, at 33, Kaylee is still young, successful, and renowned as a stellar showrunner. HBO Max has announced that they will be producing Kuoko's dramatic thriller titled The Flight Attendant. And after all that time in comedy, we're excited to see Kaylee in a bit of a change of scenery. So, what happened to Kaylee's love life after dating Leonard? Uh, I mean, Johnny. Uh, I mean, both of them? After a two year relationship with Johnny, Kaylee got engaged to professional tennis player Ryan Sweeting. But after rushing headlong into matrimony, the marriage didn't last that long. In September 2015, the couple announced that they were getting divorced, and it took them almost a year to finalize, but they finally separated. Sometime later, Kaylee next found love with Carl Cook, the son of eBay and Procter and Gamble director, billionaire Scott Cook. The two got engaged in November 2017 and married in the summer of the following year. On the first anniversary of their marriage, Carl congratulated his wife and trolled her at the same time. He posted a series of pictures that don't exactly portray Kaylee in a 
flattering light. But the caption he wrote was special and heartfelt. Everyone posts wedding pictures amongst other idealized images on their anniversary. Not me. These are images of my gorgeous wife that I remember. I love you, Kaylee Cuoco. We wish her the best as we move on to the ultimate Kihi superstar. We've opted to go out with a bang, a big bang, by closing our video with the inimitable Sheldon himself, Jim Parsons. Sheldon Cooper is seen as a living legend for many. The king of the nerds and an inspiration to geeks all around the world, Parsons' stunning performance in The Big Bang Theory elevated the actor to worldwide fame and earned him a lot of money too. In 2018, Parsons featured in the aforementioned Forbes list as the highest paid TV actor in the world. How well paid is that exactly? I can only imagine, but I'm not jealous. We're glad for you, Jim. Because Sheldon Cooper ended up being one of the most beloved characters, not just on the show, but in all of television. These days, Parsons is working on the series Young Sheldon, where he works not only as a narrator, but also as one of the show's executive producers. But forget Sheldon for a second. Let's talk about what's going on in Jim's love life. A May 2012 article in the New York Times officially noted that Parsons is gay and established that he'd been in a relationship for the last 10 years. We're glad to see that Parsons is living his best life even if he does sweetly say that his partnership with husband New York art director Todd Spiwak is pretty mundane. He calls it an act of love, coffee in the morning, going to work, washing the clothes, taking the dogs out, a regular life, boring love. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. The girl who won over all our hearts and minds as more than a match for Sheldon Cooper's own scientific genius. I'm sure you all know and love her, Mayim Bialik. Oh yes, Amy, Amy, Amy. You may know her thanks to her unique way of doing just about everything in her own particular manner. Meanwhile, Mayim herself is an actual bona fide neuroscientist. Dr. Bialik completed a PhD in the field and she's understandably very proud of her accomplishment. However, Mayim ended up quitting her job as a scientist to spend more time with her children. Mayim has so much in common with her character. Well, except for just one tiny thing, she hasn't won a Nobel Prize yet. Bialik was married to partner Michael Stone for nine years, but the couple eventually separated and ultimately divorced. Rumor has it that the couple started to develop irreconcilable differences after the birth of their first child, as Stone reportedly strongly disagreed with Mayim's style when it came to parenting their two children. In spite of these scurrilous rumors, Mayim would clearly do anything for her kids, as evidenced by her departure from the world of stage and screen. And whether she falls in love again and announces another engagement, or is just happy taking her time and being herself, we'll be there to report on all the behind the scenes gossip. That's all for now. See you back here on Osa Channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you never miss a video about all your Big Bang faves. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.